iPads, Ubuntu's, and PS3's. Welcome to This Week in Linux. It was a huge week, guys. As you know, the iPad released last weekend. Not 24 hours later, the iPad was jailbroken. Just like I said it would happen, I didn't realize it would be that soon, but because it's so common, it's so similar to the iPhone, it happened really, really quickly. There is another video on YouTube showing exactly what they did when they jailbroke it. They sent a bunch of SSH commands to it. Very cool, very Linux related. So I'll put a link to that video in the doobly-doo and I'll put a little annotation here at the bottom. In other big news, Ubuntu 10.04 Beta 2 released on Thursday. And just before the release of Beta 2, Ubuntu decided to announce that they're moving back from the Yahoo search provider to the Google search provider. I don't know about you guys, but three things come to mind. One, Yahoo didn't pay enough money. Two, Google paid more money because they have all the money in the world. Or three, Ubuntu wised up and realized that Google was the better choice. I don't know about you, but I have a feeling it was number two. As a follow-up to last Friday's story on the PS3 firmware 3.21 disabling Linux support, a well-known hacker known as Geohot has followed up on a promise he made at the end of March, and he has hacked that firmware to support Linux again. In fact, he believes he's taken it one step further. The PS3 Slim never supported Linux, and he thinks that he's made it work well enough that it will work on the Slim as well. So if you've got a Slim and you want to try it out, I'm not going to tell you to do it, but you're probably going to anyway. And the final story for today, Adobe has announced a release candidate for version 10.1 of Flash for Windows, Mac, and Linux. This is a hardware accelerated Flash, so you should see some significant improvements on H.264 video and Flash gaming. They're also anticipating adding smartphone support to 10.1, but nothing has been officially released yet on that. Anyway, that's all the news for this week in Linux. Thank you for watching. Make sure to join me Sunday night at 9 p.m. Eastern for another live show on Ustream.tv. I'll put links down in the doobly-doo and time converter and everything. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.